Hey guys, Mike from Magnanimous, and I'm here excited to show you guys another new camera we just got in. This one is the Red V Raptor, the newest iteration in their DSMC cinema camera line. This one kicking off the DSMC 3s, and it is a 8K monster of a cinema camera, packing a 8K full frame sensor up front, capable of 8K 120 frames per second, or if you bring your sensor resolution down and crop your aspect just a little bit, you can actually get all the way up to 600 frames per second. And I promise you, it's much smoother than you think it is. I was actually very impressed when we were doing some tests of the 600 slow-mo. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this camera all around has just kind of impressed me. Let's start with a quick tour. Uh, on the side of the camera here, you'll see your main camera controls. There's a small LCD as well as quick access buttons uh, for quick access to monitor controls or the like to quickly adjust things. You'll also have your main record button and power switch. Moving to the rear, we have our, all of our main I.O. ports, dual SDI outputs, as well as a Wi-Fi antenna. And this actually features all the same Wi-Fi capabilities that we highlighted in the Komodo, offering Wi-Fi monitoring, as well as streaming and camera control, either to a smartphone or a tablet or a computer. So it really expands the capabilities on set. We also have a brand new battery on the back. This is a red micro V-Lock battery. These are small 98 watt hour V-mounts that are about half the size and weight of typical V-Lock batteries, making the profile of the camera even smaller, making it more ideal for gimbals, steady cams, or anything that requires a small camera to accomplish. Flipping to the side, we have our main media bay. The V-Raptor uses brand new red CF Express type B cards offering lightning fast transfer speeds. And these are really what are gonna let you capture all of those really, really high frame rates. On the front of the camera, we have a similar RF mount that the Komodo featured, except this one has a locking mechanism to enable it to better secure higher end cinema lenses and the like. We're currently adapting to PL to utilize our Zeiss CP2s here, but you could also easily adapt to EF or they're expanding the RF capabilities. So stay tuned and you'll only see the capabilities expand and the compatibility get larger and larger. On top, we have a brand new monitor. This is a partnership that Red has done with Small HD, and it's essentially a 702 monitor and a Red monitor all kind of combined into one. You'll notice I have all of my Red settings up here, and I can easily tap and control all of my settings with the touch screen, but I also have the same page system with all the robust focus and exposure tools that I expect to see in a small HD monitor. The menus are a little bit more complex because of the expanded capabilities, but I will say as a single operator who needs one monitor to kind of do everything I need, it is a welcome addition. I don't think it necessarily, re necessarily replaces a dedicated AC monitor, but if you're rocking solo, you'll really find this a very useful tool. And like I said, all in all, this camera has really expanded what the Komodo started. Uh, it offers the same uh, R3D compression that the Komodo does, which is just a much more streamlined option compared to the older Reds. You'll have HQ, MQ, or LQ, meaning high, medium, or low quality. So you have a very quick and easy way to adjust your acquisition format to best suit your production. And all in all, I think that's really the highlight of the V-Raptor. Expand the capabilities and make it more accessible for shooters. And I think Red really kind of knocked it out of the park with this one. I highly recommend you guys rent this, get your hands on it, try it out. It really is a game-changing camera. If you guys are interested in doing that, as always, just give us a call or visit magrents.com.